Hello and good evening. How are you guys? Um, it is 9.15 p.m., which is definitely not mm -hmm. a normal broadcasting time for me. However, because I promised you all that I would do five days in a row of live stream broadcasting, Andrea, happy Mother's Day. How are you, dear? <laughs> I am here rather late uh, this evening delivering on my promise and what better way to end our marathon um, and for those of you who are like marathon so periodically I come on um, and do a live broadcast on any given topic five days in a row um, I do it for a couple reasons one because if I'm consistently given information repeatedly. You guys know that faith comes by hearing, and so we tend to get it when it's consistent. And two, it's a level of commitment for myself, just um, charging my own self uh, for being committed to, to something that helps in so many areas of growing my business as well. I'm glad that you're doing well. I am doing absolutely amazing, Andrea. I'm just getting back my daughter took me to dinner for mother's day and so she and i and my girlfriend and her daughter um, just came back from from eating an early mother's day dinner together so i'm doing absolutely amazing we're just getting back in off of the highway and my mind was set i was like okay i still have to do my broadcast and it's not too late so maybe uh, um people are up and um, able to join us and so I do see a few people in the room say hello how are you happy Mother's Day happy early Mother's Day to all the moms that will join me live this evening that will come back on the replay be sure to say happy Mother's Day um, in in the comments or let me know if you're a mom so that I can congratulate you that's actually um, what I should say and I don't know if congratulations is a word but I think that being a mom is such an amazing um, privilege an amazing uh, privilege and so there are moms who may not have any children of their own biologically but many of us as women mother um, children all the time people that we may have run across in our careers um, in our church, in our community, and so I just think women are amazing for how we're able to, um, the word is not even multitask, but just naturally be inclined to serve and help um, others, and I think that's a motherly quality. So for those of you who, this is your first time, and you're like, who's this lady, and she's talking about marathon, and what is all of this about? Um, I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I'm a a transformational growth strategist, a business consultant, and certified life coach. And what I do is I help service-based business owners, coaches, those of you who are service-based business owners who are looking to teach from uh, one of your expertise or coach. Um, I help uh, coaches and salon professionals to brand, build, and profit in their business because you know we don't want to run businesses that aren't profiting we we want to be on a growth path um, to definitely profit in our business and that's funny because this broadcast is about mastering your alignment and so I was sharing with you all that I do a marathon where I come on five days in a row and I talk about any given subject and the subject for this marathon was um, mastery and how it helps you create your brand or build your brand and I chose five things to master hey Brittany darling how are you mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome 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 um, driving and listening beautiful and so I guess I'm practicing guys because I'm gonna be doing a podcast soon and so um, I'm doing a live audio tonight so I am live but you can't visibly see me but you can hear me. And so you guys let me know how you like this flow um, as well. I, I love it, actually. I don't know if it's the introvert uh, in me or um, the fact that it gives me another level, level of freedom 
uh, as well. But um, I, I enjoy doing the live audios and I recognize that last year um, I did a few and I was like, man, I, I like how that feels. And I like how it flows for me as well. And so I am going to be doing a pod podcast. I'm just trying to um, find a central theme for the podcast because as a transformational growth strategist, I focus uh, my teaching and my courses uh, from three different perspectives and, and combine them full circle. So I teach mindset, I teach personal growth, and business building because I believe that all three of them is really what helps us to build an amazing brand and an amazing lifestyle as well. So that's the perspective that I teach from. And with the podcast, I'm just trying to figure out like which direction to head with that. But my my ultimate goal for the podcast would be definitely for women entrepreneurs and just to provide them with information <laughs> that will help them to continue to grow. I believe that we as women have several different areas of our lives that sometimes go on the back burner because of all the things that we're responsible for. And so I want to provide a platform where I'm sharing my insight and I'm I'm also going to do some coaching and teaching and uh talking about, you know, building an amazing business which falls right in line with what I'll be speaking about on this evening. So mastering your alignment. Many of you are at least at the stage in your life where you understand just how important it is that the time you spend um, doing things, whatever things are for you, um, it's important that they're in alignment with what you truly desire. And some people are lucky. I'm not going to just exclude everybody or think or categorize everyone as if, you know, they're in the category with me. But uh, of course, I've gotten so much more clear about what I wanted my business and my life to look like. And so many of us who started out in service based um, businesses, you know, coaching, salon professionals, um, makeup artists, videographers, whatever we do. So oftentimes we go into it focusing on the craft of the business. And unless we really had someone to start with us from the very beginning, it's so easy to get caught up in the craft itself uh, and not allow it to allow us to create a lifestyle that we desire as well. And so much of working and the workforce has become the bulk of our lives and we kind of forget the dream or the desires that maybe we once had when we were so much younger and then maybe things didn't happen quite the way we anticipated and then we kind of gave up on the dreams and just assumed that what what we were doing was pretty much how it was going to go uh, that was definitely me at one point. And, and I began asking myself these questions like, is this, is this it? Is this what the rest you know, of my life is, is going to look like? Is this going to be my normal work routine and the flow and all of that? And you guys, when I began to ask more questions, whether it was asking myself questions or questioning what other people were saying, um, everything changed for me. Everything changed. I started asking, you know, why does it have to be this way? For instance, I would hear people whose desire was to, you know, work a job, you know, get you a good job, stay on a job forever, you know, until you hit 65 and then go and attempt to live your life. And as I began to encounter people who had that goal of living their life once they retired, it just did not register with me. And so because I began to ask questions about the way things were traditionally done, my mind, my brain, my heart began to seek for different answers or answers that you know just didn't look traditional. 
And the more I ask those type of questions, I am exposed to living my life completely different and building my business completely different. Even I've grown from six months ago, a year ago, not just in my finances, although I have made a tremendous jump in my finances and a tremendous decline in the amount of hours that I was putting into my work simply because I asked you know, the questions about being able to do it differently and you know, not being so attached to one particular business model or how I had always seen it. And so because when we ask questions, what happens is our brain begins to search for different answers. And if we don't ask questions, if we kind of just follow suit or we do what we've seen done before, then we usually end up with the same results. So many people, their idea is, you know, to get married, you know, buy a home, picket fence, two cars, three kids, a dog, and that's the dream. And I just want to give you guys, well, I can't give you permission. You actually have to give yourselves permission, but I'd like to give you a thought about really creating a life that you love. And for me, this began with simply a pen and a piece of paper. So I found a, a list that I made uh, back in 2001 is when I created it. And I wrote like this 20 year goal plan. Why? I don't know what inclined me, you know, to do that. But I found it maybe in 2006 or seven, it was in a journal. I had written down the fact that I was going to have a girl and I wrote down the month, the year that I would have her. I wrote down the month and the year that I would open my salon business. Man, I wrote down so many things and it almost scared me when I went back to look at the list because many of those things had not only happened, but dates included. Isn't that crazy, guys? Um, and I don't even know if it's crazy because, you know, biblically it says, write the vision, make it plain. Um, and so I guess I was manifesting some of those principles. Now, I'm not saying that you can go write down you know, something on a piece of paper and tomorrow you wake up and those things have appeared. Uh, there were also things on that list that didn't happen. And I began to question, I said, okay, why did the, these particular things happen and then not the others? And it was mainly because I was in alignment with the things that did occur. And when I say alignment, I mean my words, my thoughts, and my actions aligned with those particular things. The other things just became words on paper. You guys get that? And so as you're moving forward, I want you to give yourself permission to rewrite your story if that's what you desire. Rewrite your story if that is what you truly, truly desire. I believe that many of us are um, accomplishing goals that aren't our own. I believe that many of us are operating in our business in a position and a role that's not quite what we had in mind. And mainly it's because we've taken on traditions or we've done things the way we've seen them done before. And this is why I talk about the importance of exposure. It's so, so, so huge. Because when we stay inside what I call a box, everything begins to look the same. Everyone begins to look the same. Everyone's actions, everyone's goals, everyone, the things that they're mastering, they begin to look the same. And I just would love for you, if you desire, because some of you may be completely on track for where you desire to go, but if you're not, I invite you to get into a space of alignment of what you really desire. I am creating business models in my business that I did not know were possible for me, right? Um, 
but I became exposed to it and it changed everything. It changed my quality of life, my peace of mind. Um, it changed my goals. It made me say, hey, what else can I, you know, accomplish? Now, the thing about it is it's not even necessarily the monetary amount, although I'm grateful for that because I've created that monetary amount before in my life. But it's the way that it's being created this time around with the level of time freedom that is aligned with it. And so many times because of the model that we've seen before, I'm not saying that we don't hit you know, a six figure mark or beyond, but it's how we are hitting it. You know, the level of work we're having to put into it. Now, I do think that anything initially that we're building takes a little more hustle or um, a little more grind. Uh, I like to use the word grind more um, in the beginning, but it shouldn't be this elongated hustle and grind. It's just not how it's supposed to be. And so I just want to, you know, hopefully spark you to if, it's, if something feels off, if something feels out of alignment, whenever there's stress or frustration um, or even things that are, I would say uncomfortable, but uncomfortable can mean that you're getting into alignment. Uncomfortable can simply mean that things are moving into alignment. But if there are things that are just simply frustrating, they're usually signs and opportunities for us to do something different. And if we don't take heed to the signs, if we allow them to linger, we become comfortable in those uncomfortable places. And then there's another type of uncomfortableness, and I want you guys to be able to discern the difference between the two, because the other type of uncomfortableness is often found when things are shifting and moving into alignment and many people when that type of uncomfortableness comes about they fall back into old habits and old systems or fear arises but if you've decided to do something different oftentimes the discomfort that you feel is really things getting into alignment <clears throat> and so if you're wanting to build an amazing brand and, and I feel that your, your brand and your business should fund your lifestyle. So collectively, those things should intertwine building your brand and your life. If you're wanting to build an amazing brand and you're making changes and things seem a little uncomfortable in the beginning, they're shifting into alignment. <laughs> For instance... If you did decided to do a price increase, this is why we have to be mindful. This is why we have to measure and stay woke <laughs> as we're building our brand um, and mastering alignment, what it feels like, what it looks like, what transpires. If you decided to raise your prices, if you're not careful, you may say, man, I'm, it, it feels like I'm not doing as many customers as I was doing before. And because the way, the drive that you have for how you were working before, it's still kind of working its way out of normalcy, you'll think, I, I, I need to go back to the other way. But if you measure and you look at it and you do the math, you'll, you'll probably find that you're earning more revenue. If not earning more, you're earning the same amount and then you're on a trajectory path. <clears throat> to earn even more. And so that little uncomfortable time that it feels like is simply because you're so accustomed to having to work so hard to earn that amount of revenue. But many times that uncomfortableness is actually when your things are just shifting and moving into alignment. And if you master your alignment, your alignment is when you've written down what you'd like your life and your business to look like and you begin um, creating that in your life, whether it's letting some things go, doing some things differently, you know, maybe you're learning a new something that's going to put you in a 
better space of alignment with what you really desire. When you are um, in alignment, you're looking at all the areas of your life to make sure that they are either on a path or in alignment with what it is that you say you truly desire. And so often we give up on those things because they start getting a little uncomfortable. <clears throat> but mastering your alignment is being able to um, continue to have your words, your thoughts, and your deeds or your actions to align with what it is you say you desire. And eventually it manifests and it becomes your reality. And this is how you create um, a bigger future or a future bigger than your past. So that's my take on tonight. Happy, happy Mother's Day to all of you amazing moms. I think we are um, some of God's best creatures. <laughs> and um, definitely the men are as well. But um, moms, we do a lot every single day, not just on Mother's Day. And so celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself um, write down some of the things you've done as a mom that make you proud, some of the things that um, you've overcome or that you've accomplished uh, that make you, make you proud. And walk in that space of gratitude. Have a super, super amazing evening and an even more blessed day on tomorrow, whether you're with your family or whether you're the mom that says, hey, I don't want to do anything for Mother's Day. I want to just be in my own space. Um, that's perfectly okay. There's no tradition that says there's a specific way that it has to be done. You guys have a super, super amazing evening. And I pray that you've enjoyed the five-day marathon that we've done. If this is your first time catching it, the other trainings are up. There's another audible that I did last night on mastering your money mindset. And then there are three more trainings prior that are actually they're live as well, but they're visible. You'll, you'll be able to see me. And for those of you who are joining us to shift in an even greater space of alignment, um, our strategic leadership growth retreat is going to be so powerful. I am so, um, I'm just pleased to be able to create that space for women entrepreneurs to um, really step into a space of expansion. That's August the 3rd through the 5th, www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. Go look at the page, look at the details, click the little yellow button down the bottom, answer the five questions, we'll hop on a call, and then you'll get further details, hotel information, um, a time to not just grow, but to relax as well. Sometimes it's important to step outside of our normal routine into a new environment and a new space. Um, so that we can look at our future in a much different perspective. So you guys have a super amazing evening. Master your alignment. Happy Mother's Day. Peace.